too much versus breathing too little. And then there's a place in the middle. The middle place is called your minute volume. So whatever it is to keep your metabolism at a constant rate, uh, that volume of air that you breathe in a minute, it's called minute volume. For a normal human, they say it's four and a half liters per minute. But we all have different body sizes and metabolism. So it's something. There's some finite number that's your minute volume. You breathe any less than that, and it's called hypoventilation. You breathe any more than that, it's called hyperventilation. Okay, so hyperventilating could be gross, like, and that becomes hyperventilating, but it can just be, if your minute volume was 4.5 liters per minute, it could be 4.55 liters per minute. And if you do that over 60 minutes, you have hyperventilated. You've accumulated oxygen in your system, and this does something. The most noticeable thing is it makes you hungry, and it also makes you very emotional. Your nerve endings, when in an oxygenated, alkalized system, become very sensitive. And any little emotional wave, a wave of emotion that you feel based on stimuli or you recall a memory or something, it becomes an outburst. It becomes a very prominent expression. So if you've ever done yoga and you become very emotional, or you've ever done yoga and after you're done doing yoga you snap at somebody or you were very emotional, there's a good chance you were breathing too much during your yoga practice. So breathe less is the datum. Anytime you catch yourself hearing yourself taking big panting while you're breathing, just whoa, 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 you probably don't need to breathe that much. You're just coping with the stress by breathing more. Breathe less. You can tolerate a lot more pain if you hypoventilate. Oh.